age. Now, like I said, homes, we wrote for what I say, homeschool for everyone else. For some reason, a lot of homeschool curriculums, Christian schools curriculums, well, first, if you take Christian school curriculums and you adapt them in to a homeschool, you know, your standard textbook style curriculums, I don't need to say who those are, but if you adapt those in, it's, this is second grade, this is third grade, this is fourth grade, this is fifth grade. And so you're all over the page and it's six hours a day all over the page for all your kids. Impossible. That's what we saw. That's for schools. Then you have people who are really smart. So they get a history program and they write a history program that is so overwhelming. You don't have time for language arts and math and little kids. Okay. So what we did is we write, we say we wrote for everyone else. We had six kids. So we looked at our program and said, okay, mom only has six to eight hours a day. She has laundry. She has other things to do beyond just homeschooling. So how do we organize that? So what's, what's really unique about my father's world is she wrote what I call a substitute teacher's lesson plan. So it is for you to follow. She can be the teacher. She has thought about everything they need from, from preschool through 12th grade and graduation. So if you teach what she taught, told you to teach, you will be preparing your, your children all the way through. Then she's